So we have quarantine, right? We're all isolated, we're all alone, with nothing to do. So why not go to pdcgostore.com and use the code FTW of 5% off at checkout to grab yourself some codes for a pretty good price so you can expand your collection and build that deck you wanted to build for so long. If there's any time, now is the time. With that said, thanks to PTCGO Store for sponsoring the video and do enjoy. What is up peeps, this is For The Win TCG and I'm going to be back to another YouTube video. I know, in every video the lighting has been a bit, has been a bit different. I've been a bit a bit. In every video, the lighting's been a little bit different, the, the configuration has been a bit different. As I said, I'm trying to figure it out, what's best, what's working. I'm liking what I've got going now, it's pretty solid, so hopefully this works. But I'm sure you don't care about that, of course. What are we playing today? Archeops. This is a card I've been looking at for quite a while and I really wanted to try and implement it. I was really fascinated by its U-turn attack. However, yeah, 40 damage is not that great, man. I'll be honest with you. So I wanted to put a deck that focused more on Hyper Beam, discarding energy. So a bit of a disruption deck using the amplifying damage that we have with the dojo with the diancy with the vitality band we can two shot a lot of top tier decks whilst also slowing them down which i think is fantastic and of course fossil has some support with its pokemon research lab allowing you to find pokemon that evolve from fossil throw onto your bench and then your turn which is great for a turn one move so this deck has a recipe for something a little rogue exactly what I like. So we're going to be trying it out and seeing how it goes. Um, as I said, I did really go for its U-turn thing first. I wanted to do a hit and run deck and it's solid, but its damage was way too small. I mean, look at the, look at the HP of some of the Pokemon in this. Okay. Let's be real. It's a bit much. Um, sure. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll take the dub. Lightning and metal. What deck would this be then? Uh, me don't know. Uh, I don't know. So, Let's see how uh, we fare in this matchup. Uh, the main for, for deck I was thinking of when making this deck um, was ADP. Obviously, at the start, ADP likes to take its time with attaching its energy. So if we can get in there quickly and start getting rid of its energy and slow it down, we can really disrupt such a huge deck. Starting at the dead is awful. Uh, right, so I, my, my, my video cut off there, which is a bit strange. Let me just make sure everything's fine. Okay, it's working. We're good. We're good to go. We're good to go. Um, oh, this is a really bad hand. <laughs> oh, really? Come on, man. I'm not a fan of that. All right, sure. Whatever. Whatever. Um, I guess we get rid of the evolution incense here. Oh, such an awful start. Hopefully, I don't know. I was going to say, hopefully they have a rough start, but they did just get themselves a magneton. Mm, ah. Yeah, I want to treat this. I want to retreat this to Dene big time. I don't know what we're playing against. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna risk it. Risk it for a biscuit and just just hold off there. I I, I don't know what we're up against in the few dots. So I'm hoping it's not like I'm guessing it's probably a Zassi in this, and it's just a, a different style of list. So let's see. Okay, so it's a, a another tanky deck. <laughs> I say another because I did just record a video or try to record a video playing another tanky deck. And um, <clears throat> yeah, it turns out I wasn't recording my audio. I know, right? Oh, this is disgusting. I do not like this at all. Not a fan, but we're going to commit, I guess. Right? I guess. They seem to be dead drawing. I'm dead drawing. We're all dead drawing. I mean, come on. All right, sure. Sure. See, it's okay. It's cool. We've got an attack off and we've got a Dedene. Okay, do you know what? I ain't going to complain. Two Dedene in play is not good. However, it's a lot better than their hand. So I'm perfectly fine throwing this down. There we go. So we've managed to top deck out of that, which is a bit, bit of a yikes, but okay. Sure. Let's hopefully get rid of their energy. Yes, look at that. So that's exactly what I want to do. Perfect. And we're going to go attach that here in case we get Marnied and Hyper Beam discard their energy. <clears throat> Great stuff. So they are kind of locked a little bit. I mean, of course, this is... I didn't mean to click on that. It is a Magna Zone. They can attach energy very nicely, very easily. So, yeah. Um, discarding energy is not going to be that powerful here. However, seem to have done us well. Now, issue here is... We can actually U-turn here, believe it or not. But I don't want to. We're going to Hyper Beam. They're going to come up here now and they're going to get some... They're going to get their mojo on. Which is really not good. But we got a Cynthia! Yes! Look at his luck. Okay. Okay, we've managed to really just scrape ourselves out of that, which is great. So it shows the deck can, can, can top deck out of situations, which is fantastic. So it's not that big an issue. 
which is nice. Um, and they seem to be also top decking a Cynthia. Not only a Cynthia, but the gorgeous art. I really want that one. I was over, I think I opened like a hundred hidden fakes pack or something, or like 40 hidden fakes packs or something the other day. And I, I was I was on the search for that. But I got lucky, man. I got this was on stream, so you would have been you would have thought if you were there. Um I got the shiny Charizard and the gold Tapu Lele in a row. So I I'm I'm, I'm unboxed the Lele and unboxed the Charizard literally two packs together. It was mad. Absolutely insane. All right, enough of me uh, gloating about that. Let's let's play. So, getting a this is great, and hopefully we can hit the heads on that. If not, we're gonna go for probably a Fion. Uh, yeah, mm, yeah, mm, yeah, mm, yeah, mm, yeah, mm, yeah. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Am I gonna so hastily attach that Vitality Van just in case? Could be relevant. So we've got all of our damage modifiers in play, which is fantastic. <clears throat> And they're probably going to promote this, which actually works in our favor. So that's why I think the Fiona here is pretty good. Whatever they bring up, I'm sure they don't want to. So here we go. We're going to discard their energy. They haven't got the Magna Zone. We're doing that extra damage, which accommodates for their goggles. Great. Great stuff. Let's see what they do. Are oh, they going to GX? They GX. Okay, that's fair. Sure thing, mate. It's not going to stop me, though. Uh, let's go for another Cynthia. And uh, just keep poking here, which is the goal of this deck, obviously. That could be useful, definitely, in a certain time. Uh, this hand's pretty solid where it is. Um, I'm going to quick ball for this research, see if we can get... Yeah, just in case we need that, let's get the Fion. I was hoping I had Ditto down, but I'm not sure if I... Ah, see. Sean, it's good to have a memory sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so they've got dropped us down a Zenta. If they had a Zassian, that would really work in their favor. They're playing Lily. I'm not sure if they're playing that because they want to or they have to. That's For those who are watching, this is not an ideal supporter to play now, having research around. It's just not there. And obviously, no turn one supporters, which is why this card was played so much. Yeah, Lily is not that great anymore in the current format, uh, need I add. So just, yeah, just, just, uh, just, no, 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 no. I mean, some people have to play it because they have no choice, so that, that's understandable. We're not doing enough to take this thing out, I'm afraid. <laughs> <clears throat> Benching that Boswell seems like a good idea. Considering if this thing gets KO'd, then we'll have the bench space for the Fion anyway. I think that was the move. I could be wrong, but regardless. Oh yeah, we're also playing uh, Yelgrunt. Of course we are. Playing Yelgrunt. Um, just a little thing to throw in the deck. It's additional energy disruption, which of course is what this thing is all about. So... Forcing energy into hand and discarding an energy can be quite disruptive. Obviously, not so much in the fire matchup. The fire matchup is the one you've got to look, at, look out for, obviously, uh, considering how much they can accelerate energy into play. But uh, nonetheless. Okay, 2-2 two, two is your bench player. Oh, they Cyrus. Did they just Cyrus? Did they just... Okay, do you know what? That's kind of cool. I'm going to have to sacrifice the Buzzwell. You can get rid of my Dedenes. Go for it, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I don't know if that was a bad thing. We can we can reuse our Dedenes now if we brick. That's sick. Okay. Sure, I'll take it. Um, what are they going to come up with here? The Zamazenta or the... <clears throat> that is indeed questionable. This does more damage, so I'm going to... For the time being, we're going to throw that back into hand. And we're going to bench... The Fion? No. We, wanna, we, we, got, we got the KO. We're going to take it, right? That's just a no-brainer, Sean. I'm going to hold this hand. I can do Dene. But I like having that this 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 grunt here. So yeah, let's let's take let's take the KO on that. Losing this Archeops doesn't seem to be really dramatic to us. Look at that, mate. Good stuff. Even with them pulling off their GX attack, still it's a struggle to them. So yeah, I expected the Zamazenta, which makes sense. Um and that's actually better for us, to be fair, because we only need to take two prizes. So, in, in fact, gusting that up would be ideal. But if we got, we've got to take this down, we've got to take it down. It's way better than going for this thing. So that's what we'll do. And now's a great time to get Buzzwall out. So that's what I'm going to do as well. Oh, yes. Discard energy. Come on. Hopefully we hit the heads on this one. It's going to be sick. I just, I just can't believe they gave me two to Denny back. <laughs> that was not the supporter to play, man. Like, for real. Oh, if we could really lock them. Just... Give me the perfect yes. Oh my god, this is sick. So we're going to lock that. We're going to grunt that energy in the hand, which is not discarding, but nonetheless. And uh, we're going to throw that down, and we're going to go for a Hyper Beam. So we just ditched the three energy off this Pokemon. They ain't retreating unless they got an Air Balloon or a Switch or something. So 
Let, let's, hope, let's hope they ain't got it, because we could have just won the game by locking them off with that. Mad, mad move there. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> Go on, try. Retreat. Oh, they healed. Okay, fine. Got me all, got me all cocky in that. Listen. All right. <laughs> that was a good move. Let's be real. That's what you want to do in this deck, right? You can have this big Pokemon up front, huge retreat cost or whatever, and it's like, nah, mate. Sorry. Not happening. You're stuck. Um, and that's what we've done. Now... I'm going to attach this energy here. Yes? Yes. I'm going to bench the Fionn. I'm going to go for... I would. I did want to use that red candy on this, but that's fine. I mean, the red candy isn't a must-have in this deck, so... Not going to complain. Oh, I got it anyway. <laughs> sure. <laughs> in fact, we can even bring this, bring this up. But that's not a good idea. That's a bad idea, Sean. Yeah, that's a very bad idea. Because, of course... They can just retreat it, and that's a problem. So we might as well take what we've got, hit into this, hope they can't retreat, and gust it up if they do. Uh, or at least try to with the catch. It's, not, it's, it's our best bet right now. Okay, they are accelerating to the Cavalion. Sure. I mean, I understand the Cavalion, obviously, the special conditions issue, but... Oh, haven't we... Oh, we are so close to getting the win here. Jesus. We're going to hold this hand. Yeah, 100% hundred, hundred we're going to hold this hand. Um, do I get the buzz wall ready just in case? Like, a swing around could be... It has the potential to do more damage, which could be important numbers. I'm going to no, hold this hand. I'm going to completely hold this hand. We don't need to be so aggressive. I'm going to hyper beam again. <clears throat> they have a tree again. We've got the catcher, and, and hopefully we can hit that. Otherwise, they're screwed. It's game over. Adventure bag. Uh oh, no goggles. So... Goggles. No air balloon. Oh, this is exclusively a switch deck. <gasps> yes! <laughs> Look at that. We just got the dubs there. That is sick. Now, I'm a bit skeptical of my recording equipment right now. It seems to be bugging a little bit, so I'm not going to risk going into another game here. So we are going to just check out the list. We're going to keep it a short one today. Yeah, we're going to keep a nice short video for you lots. Um, but don't worry. <clears throat> I'll be back tomorrow with my usual stuff. So let's check out the list. Here is the bad boy. I actually quite like this deck. Um, like you first, of course, you'd look at this, look at this deck and go, "Oh, draw supporters, kind of weak." I mean, three Cynthia's, two research, a Caitlyn and Cynthia and Amani. That's kind of diverse, and you're not getting the most draw you can. Let's say if you just play four research. But I like the Marnie, of course, for that small disruption. Again, we like disrupting. I like the Cynthia and Caitlyn to recover these grunts. Um, well, one grunt, which is great. Of course, you can play a power pad and recover two, but getting into hand guaranteed the next turn plus the free cards, it's a solid, solid move in my opinion. And in fact, I think an Eldegross would be sick in this deck once it comes out in the next format. But that said, we have the Dedenes as well, which is why they're so critical in this deck. You can play it non GX and go for Shrine instead of the, the Dojo. 100% you can do that. Um, but you have to sacrifice the Dedenes. You can throw Jirachis in, for example. But then you've got to make space, of course, for your, your um, switches and, of course, your um, skateboards, um, which can be quite tough. I have tried it with Jirachi in this, but uh, I wanted to go something a bit different. And it was quite hard to fit everything the way I wanted it to to make it work. This card's beautiful. You saw the combo we hit. We hit the grunts, we hit the camo, and we hit the attack. Getting rid of three energy. That won us the game. That one move. That's what we like doing. So that is absolutely sick. Uh, this deck's fun. It's rogue. Try it out for yourself. Let me know what happens and if there's any improvements you would suggest for this deck. Now, with that all said, of course, remember... Go to my Twitch. Twitch. I just, I actually ate the microphone. <laughs> Go to my Twitch and check it out. I'll be live streaming there regularly for you lots, you lovely people. And, um, but of course, do leave a like if you did enjoy and subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself until then. Peace.